entry into the desert, vast desert. Presence of Indian Railway is there. Not only in physical dimensions, but its very nature of its cosmopolitan characters. If somebody moves in railways from northernmost station to southernmost tree, during the journey itself you will find what are the varieties of the people, passengers who are coming, boarding the train and getting down? Cousins served, languages spoken, that itself epitomize India. You are fortunate to have the opportunity, of course, on your merits and success in the examination to serve this great organization. Some of you will look into stores. Some of you will look into personal problems. Some of you will look into finances. All three important categories of the railway services you are representing. I have no doubt the ambitious plan which Indian railways have, especially during the 12th five-year plan, you will be instrument in implementing that plan. In serving the Indian railways, you will be serving the great nation. You will make your own contribution in building up a great nation and have the sense of participation, proud participation in making your own contribution in building a, a great nation. I would like to give you one advice. Which advice was given to the nation by our father of nation, Mahatma Gandhi? It is universal. If it was relevant, during the days of freedom struggle, which he led very successfully. It is relevant even today, when we are striving to build up a new nation, powerful nation, harmonizing unity amidst diversities, not bringing uniformity, but celebrating diversities, recognizing its roles in this great country. He said, when you are in a difficulty, when you have doubt, always use this talisman. Shut your eyes. Think for a while. The face of the poorest person you have come across in your life. And then you think of the action which you are going to take, which you are contemplating to have, whether that action is going to help him or not, whether that action is going to be of any benefit to him or her, and if you find in yourself itself, in your own mind, that yes, the action which you are going to take will help the poorest of the person you have come across, 
you will have no doubt. All your doubts and suspicions will melt into thin air. Once again, I congratulate you. Wish you all success when you are entering into your career and take the regular responsibility after completing your professional period. Thank you, young boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.